Welcome to the cooking show. <laughs> it is not a cooking show, y'all. I am cooking today, making some chicken stew and rice, okay? Mind you, I'm a little nervous because I ain't cooked in a little minute. But you know, the skills don't go away when you know how to cook. All right. And shout out to y'all for watching my videos and getting me to 18K. Oh my God. Like, I'm up hella geeks. Like, God is good. And I'm going to just show y'all. I'm so proud of myself. Oh my God. Hold on, y'all. Let me go to the video. I don't even know if I can zoom in, but y'all see that? Hold on. Y'all see that 18K, baby? 18K. <laughs> God is good all the time. Yes, he is. He is a wonderful God, a great God. All glory be to him. Because, baby, that was unexpected, okay? And he's just showing it, showing it. He's like, Faith, I got you, baby. I got you, baby. Let's go. So we making some stew. I gotta cut up my tomatoes. I gotta cut up my onions. I gotta blend some garlic, pepper. I don't think I have ginger, but I'm just gonna blend some more onions, garlic, and pepper, and a little bit of salt, but a lot of pepper. Um, I do need to cut up some onions for the stew itself. So let's get it done, baby. Tomatoes wiped off, clean. All right, I, mean, I want to put some broccoli on the side because I don't want this to spoil. And my mom loves buying vegetables and we don't need to eat them, which is bad. We should be eating our vegetables, but we don't even want to eat it. So I got my broccoli, y'all. I'm about to put it on the stove. But I'll probably that a little last because, baby, So I got my oil on the stove. I got to cut up my tomatoes, which I'm about to do now. I am so like thankful right now, you guys. This video probably will post soon. Working on it to get it posted. I have another video already like done and ready to go. I just don't know when I'm going to post it. So yes, you guys, I'm very much thankful because my channel is growing. We are at 3,400 subscribers now. And God is just <laughs> baffling me. He's like, girl, keep going, baby, because I got more in store for you. I hear you, Jesus. I hear you. So I'm going to just keep the faith. And I, do y'all keep y'all seasoning y'all tomatoes? When you're making African stew, you need to take it out. But I got a little lazy on these couple ones that I just did. I'm going to go ahead and just take the juices out because it's going to make my sea water. It's gonna make my steel watery. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, I am literally flabbergasted. When I saw that 18K, baby, I said, you know what? I might not have everything I need right now when it comes to being a content creator, but baby, I'm about to make it work, okay? We finna be going in with these videos. I don't care if I'm sitting in my car talking, baby. We finna crank these mugs out. Because sometimes I'll be feeling like, I don't have enough to post, and I don't have this, and I don't have that. But baby, I got enough. That video was really from home to one store, and that was it. So baby, if y'all love that, then I'm doing something right. Y'all, so we cooking, making uh, stew. So African stew is mostly tomatoes. Well, fresh tomatoes, it depends. Some people use fresh, some people don't. I use a mixture of both when I have both. So I'm just using these couple tomatoes. Um, as y'all can see, I'm using these couple tomatoes to um, start my stew, but I'm not gonna put this in just yet because I still need something in my onions and my pepper and my garlic. You can use ginger if you have it or have some ginger paste, you can use it, but I don't really care for ginger like that. It doesn't really do much to my food anyway. So I'm just gonna use what I got at the moment. Cutting up these tomatoes that I'm going to use. 
Now I'm about to cut up these onions. I do need to blend soon because my oil is getting hot and I don't want to have hot ass oil or nothing in there. So tomatoes are good to go. Let me just put this in the sink. Tomatoes are all set. Let me cut up my onions for the sauce. So with steel, you gotta use um, fresh onions and the oil base so it can cook. All right, y'all. So like I said, I am going ahead and cutting my onions up. These are sweet onions. We usually use regular onion, but we realized, well, my mom was like, nah, let's start using sweet onions for the base because it'll give it a great taste and it'll get a great aroma. So let's cut these onions. Let me show y'all what I'm doing so y'all can see. Y'all see I'm over here putting onions in here because pretty much hot. Hey, you could show me love. You got to come. Who commenting on my page? Look at God. He is coming to see me. It'd be like, why when you finna give up? That's what Jesus said, girl. Bye. You better keep going. You better keep going, baby girl, because I got so much in store for you. So that's the lesson of the day. When God said yes, nobody can say no. And that's a fact. Oh, sorry, guys. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. I gotta add a little bit more onions to my base. And then I'm gonna load the, the oil so it can be So I'm gonna do two on regular sweet onions, and I'm gonna do a green, a, or a red one, cause I love red onions, really good. Love them a lot. I'm just an onion girl. Guys, we're starting the water already. I'm gonna wash this off cause the redness. I don't need that in my stick. I'm finna blow your eyes. Somebody said DB. I don't know who this is. Oh, thank you, baby. Wow, I'm literally flabbergasted because I was not expecting to wake up today. I'm finna blow your mind. Yeah, I'm finna blow your mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I'm just I probably won't even speed this up, honestly. I'll be speeding up my cooking videos, but today we ain't speeding up nothing. Cause I need y'all to hear what I'm saying and know that I'm really serious about my stuff, okay? So like I said, I'm cutting up these onions. Cutting them up to blend so this one I'm blending with okay so this one we're just gonna blend and then try to take out the bottom half because that's the bitter piece of the onion a lot of people don't know that but yes that little piece is bitter all right let me get my blender let me show you how the chicken I seasoned yesterday Ugh, so this is the chicken I have to bake it So the chicken is done in the oven. Don't need to cover it up. It's just gonna cook, bake. All right. Put that to 380. Ugh. My onions and my pepper, y'all see I have it in the blender, the pepper, a little bit of garlic. A 
a little bit of garlic. Put that in there. Not too much because I don't want my stew to be super garlicky. But I put in the garlic in there. Mm. Come on. In here while I start my base. Well, get my base ready and put this in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut up another sweet onion. This will be my last one in here, and then I'll put the, the rest of the onions, the last one, into the base of the stew. base for stew you don't need to add salt you will season as you go okay added a little bit of salt Damn. Okay. so this is gonna be a little loud Blend fine. Instagram be giving you notifications of people going live. Like, I don't care about what they do. So, all I'm literally using is a base, tomato paste, my onions, and then I will season as I go. If I need to add a little salt, I add a little salt. But the base with stew is your base, which is the onions that you, you blend with the garlic. You don't need to go add Maggie Cube and all that. I don't do that. Everybody's preference is different. So I'm going to go ahead and toss these in here. Some more onions. And now, let me just put y'all back up. All right, y'all. So now I can put, let me just kind of bring y'all close. So let me show y'all. Y'all see the stew? I'm about to add the base that I just blended into the pot. So literally taking this and putting it in the seat. And then we're just gonna let this cook down as much as possible for about a good 20 minutes, 25 minutes. And then we'll be all good to go. Alright, so as y'all can see, I put, I don't know if y'all can see that. Y'all see that? So now I'm about to just mix it, <coughs> mix it up, <coughs> and let it cook down with the, the onions. Bless me. Excuse me. 
I'm about to cook down this tomato sauce, these tomatoes, and this, um, instead of me blending the tomatoes, I didn't do that. That's what you usually do for jollof. Well, not for stew, but I just ended up putting it in there. It'll cook down, and I'm not in a rush. So this is the base for the stew. You just take a little bit, taste it, it needs a little bit of salt. So what you do, you just take a pinch of salt, just a little bit, and you just kind of give it that extra saltness. And then when the chicken is also done, you will be able to use the juices from the, from the chicken onto the stew, okay? Because I'm baking my chicken, I'm not frying it. So this is my stew base, okay? And then, perfect. This will even out perfectly, not too much salt. All right, you guys, so we're pretty much done with that part. When the food is ready, I'll get back to y'all, okay? Love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next clip when food is ready to be served. Peace. All right, you guys, spent about 30 minutes, 25 minutes. I'm about to add my tomato paste. It's cooked down enough for me to add my tomato paste, and then basically just wait for the chicken. So, add in tomato paste. it into the stew this is the base you don't want to just throw it in there and leave it like that because it will burn so you got to kind of mix it in okay mix it mix it and then you are all set let it cook for a good 25 to 30 minutes and then when the oil tops on the top your stew is ready to go so Some stews are gonna be darker when you have enough paste, and then some are gonna be, let me see if I have another paste, which I do not. I'm actually thinking about putting corned beef in my stew, but then again, I'm like, no, nah, that's too much. I'm just gonna leave it as is and let it cook. All right, so my stew is pretty much all set. I do want to add a little bit of curry just to add some color to it. Just a little dash of curry. My mom puts it in there, so I guess it does something to the stew. I don't know. Taste it. Okay, it's gonna slap. Just wait till that chicken is done. All right, you guys. The rice is pretty much almost ready. My chicken is almost not even close to being done. So I'm actually gonna lower my stew and let it just cook down. Okay. And then my rice is almost done. It's almost done. That's just the chicken. I low-key feel like I should just fry the damn chicken so it can be quicker. Because baking that damn chicken taking too long. I might just fry it. Thinking about it. But we don't have enough oil to fry the damn chicken. So that's another thing. Alright you guys, when the food is ready, I'll get back to you guys, okay? 
Peace. All right, you guys, the stew is pretty much ready. I have more chicken waiting to be um, put in the stew, but everything is pretty much done. I can't believe this oven is still on. The hell, I don't know how I forgot that. But the stew, the broccoli, the rice, it's pretty much all good and ready to go. I'm about to take me a bite, but the food is done. There's still more chicken to be cooked, but unfortunately I'm hungry, so I cooked a little bit for us to eat. And then I'll just be watching the stew, the chicken, and the uh, garage. All right, you guys, the stew is ready. All done. Got my broccoli. Got my water. About to eat. Bon appetit.